I'm glad to share this uh, devotional with you today from Galatians chapter 3. And I do so in light of uh, the riots and protests that have uh, taken place across the states, and particularly in Philadelphia these last uh, several days. And I wish to share with you something from the scripture, then something about our history that uh, Schwenkfelders, that many uh, of you may not understand or know, but uh, that you should, and then also some things that we're trying to do right now uh, as a church. We first read uh, these words from Galatians 3, verse uh, 28 and 29. There is neither Jew nor Greek, there is neither slave nor free, there is no male and female, for you are all one in Christ Jesus. And if you are Christ, then you are Abraham's offspring, heirs according to promise. It's a verse about equality, um, but particularly about equality in Jesus, so, which is uh, my thought uh, with you today, that it's, that it's in the hope of being in Jesus Christ that we have this unity. I know our uh, country will carry on other discussions about uh, uh, the ways that we relate one to the other, but as Christians, there is unity when we place our faith and trust in Jesus Christ because he is the unifying factor for us. And if we have, then we are truly God's sons and sons uh, of Father Abraham too, Abraham being from the Old Testament. Now, Schwenkfelders over the years, so we have taken it very seriously that uh, all is one in Jesus Christ. In fact, some of you who have uh, grown up in the church will remember Dr. Jack talking about uh, uh, how Caspar Schwenkfeld would always be willing to uh, extend the right hand of fellowship to anyone who placed their faith and trust in Jesus. Now, we have done this over the years, uh, particularly in our uh, recent years, uh, through our, our work in Philadelphia. And I wish to uh, just share with you how we've been involved uh, in Philadelphia, f starting first with um, uh, a picture that we have of the first Schwenkfelder church. This is a lovely uh, a portrait uh, given by our, one of our own, Frank Batson, uh, who uh, drew first Schwenkfelder church. The church is located on 30th in Cumberland in the Strawberry Mansion section of, the, of uh, Philadelphia. The church was founded in uh, 1898 uh, for Schwenkfelders who were from this area who were traveling uh, into the city and to, uh, then who settled in the city and they, they wanted to have a Schwenkfelder church in the city. So even though it's called the first Schwenkfelder church, it's not the first meeting place of the Schwenkfelders in America. Indeed, uh, we were meeting in this area and up towards the Palm area uh, before then, but it is the first time that there was an official church building rather than, uh, let's say, um, a, a Gemeinde house, a, a, a worshiping house, uh, a meeting house like Salford, uh, of which there were several um, and still are several in this, um, this area that have been preserved. Now, in uh, the uh, 1960s, 1970s, uh, of course, the area where the first Schwenkfelder church uh, was located uh, 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 turned over to being uh, African-American. And we have supported uh, the uh, church there at 30th and Cumberland uh, for a number of years, helping out uh, uh, with um, uh, Pastor Brooker and uh, the many efforts that were made towards a reconciliation of uh, races in that area of the city. And I'm thankful to say that uh, we had made a very good contribution a number of years ago, but because of the ways that uh, uh, things uh, move on, of which I'm happy to share with you at another time about that if you're, if you're interested, um, our relationship with that uh, church has become inactive uh, as a result of uh, their decision to become less active with us. But we continue on our work in helping to support African-American brothers and sisters and uh, also the gospel of Jesus Christ, for which we are all one uh, together in Jesus Christ. Uh, we continue our help with uh, Reverend Alfred Duncan and the Schwenkfelder Mission Church, Missionary Church uh, in Germantown. Our thoughts and prayers are with uh, our brothers and sisters uh, today in uh, the, uh, the city in Germantown. In fact, I've already reached out to uh, Reverend Alfred Duncan, and I've also been in touch with uh, Pastor William Hamilton at um, uh, the First Worship Center, um, the former uh, First Schwenkfelder Church. We are trying to make ways to uh, support our brothers and sisters in the Lord in every way, but I hope you will join with me in the most important way that we can help them today, and that is through prayer, through Jesus Christ. For it's he who's the one that brings the races together and our hope 
for these uh, for the treatment of uh, people uh, properly is truly found in him. So why don't you join me in a word of prayer as I close uh, this devotional today. Father in heaven, we thank you for your son, Jesus. We thank you that he is our Savior and our Lord. And we pray today that you would bless Reverend Alfred Duncan and his wife, Phyllis. And we pray that you'd also be with uh, Pastor William Hamilton and his wife, Caroline, and uh, pray that you would uh, bless uh, these churches and uh, brothers and sisters uh, who... Um, uh, we love very much in the city. We pray that you would keep them safe. We pray that you would help them proclaim uh, the gospel. And we pray that you would help uh, bring uh, reconciliation through them. Bless them this day, we pray in Christ's name. Amen. May God bless you today.